Australia's biosecurity system plays a crucial role in maintaining market access for our livestock and plant industries. Farm biosecurity covers a range of practices that help to keep Australian livestock and crops free of disease, pests and weeds. This short video provides a practical overview of biosecurity measures you can use in your daily routine to minimise the risks associated with moving anything onto your property. Animals and plants can carry pests, bacteria and viruses without showing symptoms of disease. To avoid diseases, pests and weeds coming onto your property, buy your farm inputs from trusted sources and wherever possible, inspect newly arriving planting material and livestock before they're mixed with your existing stock. Stock returning from agricultural shows and events, sales, contract joining or adjustment also need to be managed to reduce the risk of spreading unwanted pests and diseases. Request supporting paperwork from the seller. This could be a national vendor declaration, a certified seed certificate, a commodity vendor declaration or a national animal health statement. Accredited suppliers will provide you with records of the product source and any testing history. Maintain a register of propagation material, including the source of budwood, cultivar, rootstock, where, when and how many were received and planted. Keeping accurate records of all farm inputs will help with any traceback activities should a new pest or disease be found. Keep a record of where livestock have come from. Isolate new livestock for a period of 21 to 28 days. Normally, uh, when I bring sheep onto the place, they go into a quarantine paddock. These sheep would come in here and stay in here anywhere from 21 days, 28 days to remove any weed seeds and also then to monitor both the sheep and cattle for any ill health. In a similar way, keep new nursery stock away from production areas until you're sure they and the potting media are free from diseases, pests and weeds. It is a good idea to regularly check newly planted areas for the appearance of pests or unusual symptoms to ensure they can be contained. New propagating materials such as potting mix and compost should be checked prior to use. Water feed and bedding can often be a major source for transferring and harbouring diseases, pests and weeds. In the right conditions, many of these unwanted intruders can survive for a very long time. Ensure bedding material is fit for purpose, refreshed regularly and is stored in a clean, dry and vermin-free environment. It's a good idea to aerate dams to prevent nutrient build-up and avoid harmful toxins from algal blooms. We've got two ponds in our irrigation system. The first of them is the natural wetland that cleans the water through reeds. That water is then transferred to a storage pond. The water taken from that storage pond is pumped back up into the nursery for another round of irrigation. It actually goes through and uses nature to give us the very best quality of water. Stock feed should be kept in a clean, dry storage area. You should regularly inspect food supplies and water sources to ensure they remain secure and fit for purpose. To prevent soiling and faecal contamination, it's best to keep water and feed troughs off the ground and regularly give them a good clean to avoid contamination from old feed and water. Here at Deer Park we monitor everything that comes into the property. They include uh, new horse arrivals, feed and bedding. Of all new items that arrive on the property, we make sure we do an inspection to make sure that they are pest free and of good health. It is illegal in Australia to feed restricted animal materials to ruminants due to the high risk of spreading diseases such as mad cow disease. Stringent penalties also apply to the illegal feeding of swill to pigs. Swill feeding can lead to the introduction of diseases like foot and mouth disease. Always read the label of any purchased stock feed to ensure compliance with these laws. The yields from a variety of crops depend on pollination by bees. Bees moving between plants provide a mechanism for the spread of plant pests. Pests can also be spread between regions when hives are moved. Find out where any hives have been, check the health of the bees regularly and advise your hive provider of any intended use of chemicals. Organic-based fertiliser can carry weed seeds as well as pests and diseases. Seeds and diseases can survive in compost for a long time. So make sure animal manure and green waste is aged and thoroughly composted before use. Maintain a record of the source of organic fertilisers and application dates. Reduce the risk of purchasing contaminated or non-compliant fertiliser 
by ensuring the supplier is following the industry purchasing code of practice or has equivalent quality controls in place. You are the most likely person to notice changes in the health of your crops and livestock, so use the simple biosecurity measures in this video to secure your farm and secure your future. For more information, visit the Farm Biosecurity website at farmbiosecurity.com.au. If you see anything unusual on your property, call the Emergency Animal Disease Watch hotline on 1800 675 888 or the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881.